Hiya, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. You already know that I'm going to show you my begonia plant collection uh, because of the title of the video. I only have five. It used to be six, but it's outside as part of an experiment this winter. So I'm going to show them to you one by one. The plant care is pretty much the same, but we will talk about it as we go along. So without further ado, please subscribe uh, if you haven't already. We really appreciate it if you do, guys. Um, of course, hit the bell to notify you every time I upload a video. Get your tea ready and let's get into this video. Okay guys, this leaf is from my plant room tour. If you haven't seen it yet, I will link it in the description bar. So this is my very old begonia. This must be 14 years old. It's still alive and as you can see, it's getting taller and taller. It flowered this year for the first time, which I'm really, really chuffed about. It's huge and super pretty. It shed some leaves this winter because the grow light was on every single day for eight hours. And because I was busy working, I didn't have the time to water all my plants. So the soil was bone dry by the time I took care of them. But the plant is still perfectly fine. I have stopped uh, switching on my grow light just now. I think I'm just gonna let my plants to take it slow this season. I don't want to check my plant room one day and all my plants are dead because of blocking water. Uh, the majority of my propagated plants are dead. I couldn't rescue them at all. Anyway, next is my precious Rex begonia. It's still in my living room. It's still doing very well here. Same thing with my begonia lucerna. Uh, lacking water. Some of the leaves die. They just turn crispy. So guys, make sure to water your begonia regularly. Uh, when the soil is dry, not too dry though, uh, they won't appreciate it at all. Um, unlike my prayer plants, stay tuned for that, it's coming up soon. So yeah, uh, this plant is always thirsty. Oh, well, most of the time. Look at that, super pretty guys, it's huge. Okay, next is my begonia tiger paws. I really love this plant, it is now bushy. <laughs> I really love the foliage. And it's also well known as an eyelash begonia because of the hair around the edge. I think it's cute. And for me, this plant is not a fussy plant at all based on my experience. I often let this plant get too dry and it's so perfectly fine. Uh, it barely shed the leaves. Um, there's something about this plant, I just find it uh, unique. The, the texture, the stem, the hair around the edge. I think it's super cute and very unusual. Okay, here's another begonia that I often neglect, but it's just so, so fine. It is thriving. The leaves, the foliage is just stunning. I think she is perfect. And I pruned these and propagated them and I gave one of them to my friends. I still have one left. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what else to say about this plant. It's just so pretty, stunning. I really, really love it. So yeah, let's move on. All right, lastly, guys, my begonia ampioxus. It's getting bigger inside my terrarium. It's Stunning. All right, I have another one here. This is my experiment. <laughs> I'm growing this into a pot itself. It was doing great in my kitchen windowsill. However, this winter time, uh, it was struggling, so I had to put it back in a glass cabinet. And so far, it's doing okay. Just okay. But definitely, this plant loves humidity. Okay, right, guys, this is my begonia plant collection this year. Um, all of my begonias are receiving bright light in summer. However, in the winter time, it's just from medium to low light. So yeah, I'm just so happy that they are growing with me. <laughs> so thank you for watching guys. Happy planting. I'll see you next time. Bye.